Hi, I'm Alfred Taylor and I'm going to talk to you about my work this year on the automated design of composite spacecraft structures. The global space launch industry is extremely valuable, providing the backbone for the Earth observation and satellite communications industry. It is valued at around $13 billion, with 114 launches in 2020 and even more planned this year. New space industries like asteroid mining and space tourism show promise, but are limited by the cost per kilogram to low Earth orbit. One way to reduce this cost is to reduce the structural mass of the rocket. This means the payload can be made heavier, or the fuel cost for each launch can be brought down. For this project, I've looked at reducing the structural mass of the first stage of the Falcon 9, which is a reusable launch system with a first stage structural mass of 25.6 tons. A key consideration for this project was the trade-off between lightweight components and engineering complexity and labour costs. Reducing the structural mass of the first stage made no sense if it cost so much to produce that all of the cost savings were lost. Although SpaceX doesn't release information about how they produce their first stages, our hypothesis was that we could use genetic algorithms to optimise a composite grid stiffened structure to produce a structure that is lighter, feasible to manufacture and possibly even cheaper than the structure that they use. Genetic algorithms are optimization algorithms that emulate evolution. They do this by comparing the performance of different solutions to a problem, retaining the best solutions while eliminating the weakest solutions. The footage you're looking at now is a very simple genetic algorithm, whereas modern genetic algorithms replicate models from evolutionary theory, like CMLSGA, which models the performance of groups against each other, or HEIA, which models the evolution of antibodies in the immune system. The uses of genetic algorithms in spacecraft are varied, and my literature review reflected this. I found that a lot of the research fails to analyse the cost of solutions and their optimization, which was important for my area of research. I was most excited by the use of genetic algorithms for the Ariane 6 interstage structure and the optimization of small antennas. The anisogrid structure selected is formed of circular and helical ribs wrapped around a cylinder. In a launch vehicle, this would reinforce the outer skin and inner fuel tank to provide resistance against buckling during launch. This structure was selected as it had good resistance to axial loading, had well-defined geometric parameters, and was computationally inexpensive to evaluate the different failure modes. The parameters used in these equations were geometrical parameters for the structure, like the angle of the helical ribs and the ratio between the size of the ribs and the gaps in between them, as well as properties for the whole structure, like the volume fraction used in the composite and the thickness of the structure as a whole. The fitness functions for the genetic algorithm had to produce an output between 0 and 1. A large portion of time was spent tuning and adjusting these functions to produce better results. Initially, a binary output was used for the failure modes, however this produced two sets of poor results. One set with an extremely high mass that passed every test, and another set which failed every test but cost and weighed as much as a KitKat. Eventually, after many iterations, a negative exponential mapping with tuned weightings produced a diverse set of useful solutions that could beat the Falcon 9 on mass with low material costs. I filtered the set of results that would successfully pass each structural requirement for those with masses less than the Falcon 9 first stage, resulting in seven designs labelled A through G. You can see them in this render, arranged from left to right, starting with A. Taking into account the skin, tanks and engines included on the first stage, I am confident these designs still save mass on SpaceX's design, but labour cost and manufacturing is still a concern. I would primarily like to thank my supervisors Adam Sobey and Jean Blanchard for helping me with this work.